The DRDO developed long-range hypersonic anti-ship missile had achieved a speed of 12,144 km per hour during its last test on the 16th of November last year. A Jaguar aircraft of the Indian Air Force crashed at Ambala during a routine training sortie, after encountering a system malfunction. Indian Air Force's AN-32 transport aircraft has crash-landed in West Bengal, and the aircraft is currently being recovered from the site. Gujarat-based startup PureSight is developing a drone-mounted synthetic aperture radar. The Ministry of Defense has signed a $248 million contract with Russia's Rosbaron Export, for the procurement of 1,000 horsepower engines for T-72 tanks. IIT Madras researchers have developed innovative solutions for improving the ballistic resistance of reinforced concrete panels. Pune-based Electro-Pneumatics and Hydraulics will roll out the first made-in-India John Cockerill turret for the Zorawa light tank in 2027. Kerala state-run electronics company Keltron has been awarded a contract to design manufacture ultrasonic transducer elements for the Vietnamese Navy. The future combat air system is expected to take its first flight by 2035, and most raffle suppliers will transition to future combat air system by that period. The Indian Air Force has recommended to the Ministry of Defence that a private sector company be entrusted with manufacturing the fighter jet selected through the MRFA tender, and this recommendation comes as part of a broader set of suggestions recently submitted by a high-level panel. With HAL's production lines fully occupied with Tejas Mark 1A and HTT-40 trainer, involving a private player will not only expedite the MRFA program, but also enhance India's defense industrial base. L&T's head of aerospace and defense have said, that Larsen and Tubro is interested in establishing a production line for manufacturing indigenous fighter jets, though he refrained from specifying which aircraft might be involved. This statement comes after reports that the Air Force could order 180 more Tejas Mark II fighter jets if the private sector is involved, that will increase Tejas Mark II fleet strength to 300 units. MBDA is currently engaged in discussions with the Indian Air Force, to broaden the integration of the Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile into the Tejas Mark IA and Tejas Mark II fighter jets. Discussions also involve the potential establishment of a local production line for the Meteor missile system in India, as the Astra Mark III missile is still five years away from entering full-scale production. The Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with Russia's Rosbaron export worth $248 million, for the procurement of 1,000 horsepower engines for T-72 tanks in fully formed completely knockdown and semi-knockdown conditions. The deal includes transfer of technology from Rosbaron export to armored vehicles Negum Limited, for integration and subsequent licensed production of engines under technology transfer to boost their make in India initiative in defense sector. Today's top 3 comments